Hi everyone. In 1966, John Denver once sang, I'm leaving on a jet plane. Don't know when I'll be back again. That pretty much sums it up for me today, guys. I'm off to Thailand. Join me on my journey. guys well I've made it to Heathrow I actually traveled down by the National Express bus service I've never used them before um, negative points it took three hours where it normally takes me about an hour and a half in the car a um, little bit boring but I mean it cost me 22 pounds so yeah I would definitely recommend the uh, the coach service as I say 22 pound from Northampton to Heathrow that is a good deal uh, next stop I guess is Thailand well, I've just cleared immigration. That was really interesting. It was fast. That's the first thing I noticed. Um, the airport is very, very busy today compared to when I was last here in December. Um, but what I would say is this. They've changed their security procedures uh, for the better, actually. Do you remember when you came through, even in December for me, you would have to take your uh, laptop out of the bag. You'd have to take your shoes off. And it was quite a cumbersome exercise. The queues were quite long. They've kind of streamlined it now. What they do, they've actually got a machine you put your foot into without taking your shoes off, uh, which is a lot faster. Uh, and also they don't tell you to take your laptop out of its bag. What they say is keep everything in your bag, passport, um, boarding pass, laptop, everything. And it's just so much quicker. It's so much less hassle. Um, yeah, it's a lot better. It's a lot better than it used to be. It took me about half an hour from checking in to actually getting through immigration. I'm now off downstairs to meet Andrew Hammond. Uh, we're gonna have a few beers, uh, a few well-deserved beers before we get on the flight. Cheers guys. This is a great flight, no masks. Not like in December. And we're off. The problem is it's really hard to get motivated to go outside when it's raining like this. I mean you don't want to come on vacation and sit in your room I know, but look at it. Absolutely teeming down. Okay, so obviously I'm in Thailand now. I'm glad to be here. I should be here for two to three months. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how the money stretches out. Um, I'm very happy to be here. I went out last night. I didn't have a big night out last night because I was very, very tired. I don't know if it was jet lag or an age thing or perhaps I drank too much on the plane. It was probably the latter actually. Um, so what did I do? There's a couple of observations that I, I want to tell you about as well. Uh, so last night I went to Soy Cowboy. It was a very, very wet night. In fact, one of the first things I did was uh, buy a brolly, an umbrella. Uh, but of course that doesn't stop your feet getting wet. And you, you've seen from the video that I've just shown you, when it rains, it, it's not a drizzle. It absolutely pours down. And the problem is it goes on for so long as well and it's just miserable. Obviously it's not cold, um, you know, the temperature's okay at the moment, it's not too hot, not too cold. Um, but it just makes everything miserable, you know, I, I went to Soy Cowboy last night and um, just wet. Uh, you go into a bar, you don't want to leave it, you know, normally you, you hop between bars. And um, there was a few people out, not as busy as I expected it, but I did speak to the staff and they said generally because it's raining, uh, people don't want to venture outside. So, so that's kind of put a bit of a damper, excuse the pun, on the first couple of days. It, it rained heavy last night when I was at, went out and it's raining today all day. I'm hoping to meet up with my friend Simon a little bit later. It is forecast to stop about 8 p.m. It's about, it's about 7 p.m. now, so hopefully it will stop in about an hour. It does drain off very, fairly quickly. That's a good thing about it, um, but we'll see. So came back about 10.30 last night. I was just so tired and I thought I'll have a shower and uh, I'll go back out again after an hour's rest because I'd had some food and I was quite full. So I had a shower, laid on the, uh, the bed, cool crisp sheets with the air conditioning on. I fell asleep. I woke up at one o'clock in the morning gutted 
Uh, but I still had an hour to go, so I, I dashed outside and had a, a couple of drinks. Um, but I'll tell you the other thing that really shocks me is just the prices. It is incredibly expensive here now. You know, you're going to have those people say, well, you can live if you, you know, you can get things cheap if you do like the ties do or go where the ties do. But you're not coming on vacation, you know, for, for that, are you? You know, you're going to go to the tourist areas. And uh, I'll, I'll give you an example. I was in a bar last night uh, and I talked to the owner as well who was Thai. It wasn't in Soy Cowboy or Nan or anywhere like that. It was just a, a non-descriptive bar, few people in it. And uh, I had a Heineken, small Heineken, bottle of Heineken. It was 150 baht. No shock to the system there. I was expecting to pay that, if not a little bit more. Um, but they let, they happened to leave the menu on the table with the drinks. And uh, I just happened to take a look. Ladies drink, 250 baht. So you're paying, you know, 150 baht for your drink. And if you're one of those guys who entertains the ladies, luckily I don't. Uh, so I, I, you know, I'm not worried about it. But you guys who come out here who buy drinks, and I was talking to the owner towards the end of the night because, as I said, I didn't go out till one, so I stayed in that one bar and everybody cleared off before two o'clock. I was still there stringing it out. And I just said to her, I said, look, you know, I'm not complaining, but this is your prices for the ladies' drinks. It's, it's you know, they're just so high. The, the, you're, the, you're charging a guy 150 baht for a, a beer and 250 baht for a ladies' drink. It's going to put people off. You know, she spoke pretty good English. And, uh, but you, you just can't get through to them. She just kind of said to me, her justification was, well, you know, that we need to make our money and the girls need to make their money and that's what the price is and other guys pay it. So, you know, and I and I try I tried to, I wasn't, you know, I smiled all the way and I sort of tried to, uh, not in a complaining way, but I kind of said to her, you know, I, I was just trying to see, make her see my example of, you know, the guys, if, the, if her drink was 150 and the guy's drink was 150, fair enough, but, you know, another 100 baht more, but like I say, you just can't get through them. So when you come out here, guys, be really aware of it. It's, uh, it is very, it is very, very expensive. Um, just out of interest, and I, you know, I, I was um, home alone last night, as they say, but when I was in the, I was in the Tilak bar last night, and I, I did ask them how much uh, it cost for the bar fine and everything, and they were quoting a thousand baht for the bar fine, and 3,000 baht uh, if you want to have a game of Connect Four with one of the young ladies in there. Uh, and so 4,000 and the, the ladies drinks were 250. So, you know, you need deep, deep pockets if that's what you're coming out here to do. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm hoping to meet up with my friend Simon tonight and uh, we'll, we'll go out and about. That's if it stops raining. Hopefully it'll stop raining heavy anyway. And then um, this is only my first day here. I'm just about recovering now, uh, as I say, it's 7 p.m. Um, what I intend to do over the next couple of days, I've got two more days um, before I head down to Pattaya. So I'm staying in a great hotel here. Uh, I'm going to do a review of this hotel, the facilities, the room and all the rest of it, prices, and maybe one or two other hotels around here because it's a great location. Uh, I'll try and get them uploaded in the next sort of two to three days. Uh, but for now, guys, I'm really tired. I'm, I'm going to treat myself to some beers. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll catch up with you all uh, real soon. I'm, I'm actually off to Pattaya on Monday. Unfortunately, Apple couldn't pick me up from the airport. I was gutted because she was in Cambodia. Uh, she offered to send one of her girlfriends, but the thing is, you know, I don't know what she looks like. She doesn't know what I look like. And to save messing about at the airport, I just said, look, Apple, don't worry about it. I'll just jump in a, in a cab. Uh, I, I thought I'd got lucky that as soon as I got into the cab, the guy said meter. I said, how much is it? He said meter. I thought, great, I've hit the jackpot here. He put the meter on, but he, he, he didn't take the highway. I mean, we must have gone through every uh, neighborhood between here and uh, and the airport. And I, I said to him, why didn't you take the highway? And that, that's just, you know, again, you can't get through to uh, some people, can you? Um, so I'll, I'll be going off to Pattaya on Monday. So still, uh, today's Friday, so I've got two more days. I've got the weekend here. And uh, yeah, watch this spot. I'll, I'll report back and let you know what's going on. Thanks for watching this time, guys.